Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the RA2 Pro Rotary Attachment by Xtool with your Nege 3 Pro. This is going to be a quick video. I'm not going to show you how to do the entire setup and the various configuration of the rotary attachment, uh, since I already have an in-depth video about that. So you'll find a link in the video description below. However, um, this is in connection to my other video covering the um, setup with the Nege Master 2S Plus. So I've decided to go ahead and to uh, show you also with the Nege 3 now, Pro. First thing first, I'm going to cover the wiring. So how you're going to connect it to your machine and then we'll jump in my computer so I can show you the exact parameters you'll need to set for both uh, laser GRBL and light barn. All right, so starting with the wiring, you will basically need to use this uh, uh, jumper with a black connector. So you are not going to use the white one. This is actually not working. And this jumper with the wire that goes to the stepper motor of the rotary attachment will connect to the small jumper of the machine, the one that originally goes from the board to the Y axis stepper motor over here. And so once you connect this, you are basically good to go. Now, I will show you the parameter in my uh, computer, um, but the parameter I will show you will be based on this uh, configuration. That means with the rotary tool, uh, having the stepper motor on the back side. All right, so let's start with Light Barn, which is the easiest among the two software. Um, so first thing first, you will need to have the enable rotary over here. Um, and then uh, you will need to come to the rotary setup and to choose whether you are on a roller mode or on a chuck mode. Okay, so let's first start with the roller since it's already in front of us. Now for the roller, you will need once again, uh, this parameter, 40.35 millimeters per rotation and 17 millimeters roller diameter. Uh, these are two parameters that you will need to uh, input and they are given basically by X tool. And with this machine, you will need to have the mirror output on. So the Y axis will basically need to be mirrored. Um, again, when you work in roller mode, object diameter and circumference is not required. Then when you're done, you click on OK and you are basically good to go to work the very same way you normally would. Uh, now, in my configuration and setup video, I'm basically talking about how you should work uh, with your rotary attachment, regardless from the brand. Um, and so the best way, the easiest way to work is in current position. So you work in current position, just select where you want the origin to be based on your project and you're basically good to go. Let's now see very quickly in chuck mode what you will need to do. So back to the rotary setup, now switch to chuck mode. Now in chuck mode, you will need to uh, input your 160.14. This is once again, an important parameter that is provided by X tool. And here in this uh, uh, mode, it is important to uh, input either your object diameter or circumference. So for example, in my case, I have a 43 millimeters object uh, in my um, roller right now, uh, actually in my chuck right now, okay? Now, when you are in chuck mode with this machine, you don't need the mirror output, so the axis is not going to be mirrored. So once you are uh, good with that, click on OK and you are basically good to go. All right, let's now switch to uh, laser GRBL. Let's first connect the machine so we can have access to the GRBL configuration. Now here again, when you work in roller mode, uh, you do not need to change any parameters except from mirroring the axis if it is uh, necessary. And so now, first thing first, when working with laser GRBL, I highly recommend you disabling the homing functionality of your machine. So in our case, the Ninja 3 Pro is a machine with a home. So you will go over to GRBL, GRBL configuration, look for the dollar uh, sign 22, which is the homing cycle enabled and set this to zero. Okay. Um, now, in uh, roller mode, 
you will need to mirror the y-axis uh, so you will need to set the dollar sign three which is step direction invert for this machine to two so once you're done with that click on right close and you are basically good to go so you can frame and start your project let me now show you how to work in uh, chuck mode now in chuck mode back to grbl configuration now in chuck mode we do not need to mirror our y-axis so let's set back our dollar sign three which is step direction invert to zero so that's how it was originally uh, let's still keep our homing cycle enabled now here uh, the important is to change the dollar sign 101 which is the y-axis travel resolution to a parameter to a value which is the result of a simple formula and that is uh, 12,800 divided the circumference of your object uh, in millimeters so uh, in my particular example that yields to 94.75 step per millimeter so once you are done with that again click on right close this window give on yes and you're basically good to go to work as normal now very important once you finish to work with your rotary attachment and this is valid for laser grbl you need to reset your grbl configuration so that means to go back to grbl config uh, and reset the value as they were now dollar sign three is original zero and you can also re-enable the homing and then uh, you can set back the y-axis travel resolution dollar sign 101 to 80 and once you're done with that you can click on right again close and you're basically good to go and this is pretty much all i hope you found my video informative if you liked it click the thumb up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one Ciao for now.